nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think it sent a request. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, what what did you like about them? Well, I thought what was really neat is um, uh, they're kind of magical things. And I think the idea that you could make a brand new protein that would do something. You, get, you just get a phone call and... Um, in this case, it was very, it was funny because they actually had my son Benjamin's phone number and they called him first. And then he gave them my phone number, so they called me. And you have to say, okay, we want one more floor. Yeah, that's <laughs> just going to get it up. Do you want some bread? Uh, well, it was, it was really, really exciting. Actually, I couldn't really think because my wife was screaming so loud, so. <laughs> I started um, uh, about um, a little over 20 years ago trying to design new proteins. And uh, uh, Brian Coleman came to my lab and he actually designed uh, the first brand new protein. And at that time, we were really, really excited that we could make up new proteins from scratch. And we thought that, or we, we hoped it would be possible to make proteins that had all sorts of new functions, uh, but I don't think we would have guessed that things have come up, would have come, we'd have come as far as we actually have today in terms of making proteins to solve all, all kinds of different current day problems. Okay, I'll get the dough from you. <laughs> Um, we're designing proteins to break down plastic. We're designing proteins uh, to um, uh, break down uh, pollutants. We're designing as a sort of design proteins that will only that will uh, function, uh, like for cancer, to function and destroy tissue at the tumor, but nowhere else. So be very selective, much more selectively target the tumor. We're designing proteins to bind to the. Uh, um, to the amyloid forming proteins that cause Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's and other um, neurodegenerative diseases. Because this is, if you look at David's work, this is about taking these great basic science ideas and pushing them out so that they make a difference in the world. I'm greeting his faculty and staff there. And you can follow us. It's about a block. You know, as was already alluded to, I think we're really just at the beginning. We figured out how to design new proteins. We figured out how to make them, um, you know, bind to cancer targets, for example. And we're starting, and we're getting better at learning how to um, make them uh, catalyze chemical reactions. So we're, we've really learned a lot about how to design proteins with new functions. So I think now what's tremendously exciting is to look at the vast array of problems that humans face and try and design proteins that solve these problems. And turn off all our phones. 